Hey there friends, welcome to Low Key Catholic. My name's Rob Maslowski and today we are celebrating Friendsgiving. Let's pray. This week we celebrate Thanksgiving in America, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to gather together my friends to celebrate. And so while I gather together the ingredients and prepare the meal, I thought we would talk a little bit about thankfulness and gratefulness. <laughs> A couple years ago, I was on a retreat and a priest pointed out a difference between being thankful and being grateful. And if I'm entirely honest, I don't really remember what he specified as the difference. But I do remember that it struck me that there was a difference. Because in English, we tend to use the words interchangeably. I mean, even if we look at the definitions, Google tells us that grateful is defined as feeling or showing an appreciation of kindness or being thankful. So it uses thankfulness as the as part of the definition. And thankful does the same. It says being pleased or relieved or expressing gratitude and relief. And so we have a tendency to just use them as equal adjectives. Are they adjectives? adverb? I don't know. I'm not an English major, but you know what I mean. Like we, we use them interchangeably as if they are exactly the same. But this priest had pointed out that there was a little bit of a difference. Um, and like I said, I don't really remember exactly where he drew those differences, but upon my own reflection, I do think that there that it can be helpful for us as Christian Catholics to recognize that there there is a bit of a difference. Thankfulness, you know, I, I think of when I was a kid and I would receive a gift and my parents would instilled in me that you would always say thank you. And I'm happy that they instilled that attitude within me. To be thankful for those things that we receive, uh, you know, or the experiences that we have. But I also think that gratefulness goes a little bit beyond that. When we read from scripture, scripture reminds us to have this sort of attitude of gratefulness or attitude of gratitude, so to speak, um, pretty, uh, pretty often. Where did I put my Bible? There it is. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, it tells us, Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in all circumstances give thanks, for this is the will of God for you in Christ Jesus. Psalm 118 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Colossians reminds us to let the peace of Christ rule in our hearts, to which indeed you were called in one body, and be thankful. Psalm 107 tells us, Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. I think when we read about thankfulness and gratefulness in Scripture, it illustrates a little bit different idea than just our simple, our cultural idea of thankfulness. Because scripture reminds us not to simply be thankful for the worldly things we have, but to have an attitude of gratefulness that goes to our very core, to be grateful for our very being as sons and daughters of Christ, having been created by our loving Heavenly Father. And that all of the gifts that we have or will receive are from Him for our good. We're called to be grateful and have joy even in our suffering. Because we know that God, above all things, is good and loves us. And so when I look at this past year during this week of Thanksgiving, ordinarily I'm not very good about... Uh, we'll, we'll call it emotional vulnerability. You know, I, I don't know that I'm often comfortable in sharing, you know, openly sharing when someone asks me like, oh, like, how are, how are you doing? Or, you know, even like, even something simple like, what are you thankful for? Um, but this year, I have to say that I think I really am really grateful for a lot of things. Um, I have a great job that I love to do. I made a scary transition to start something new after being at the same place for a while and being in a very comfortable place. And it's been really good and I, and I love it a lot. 
Um, I'm surrounded by people that I love a ton. Um, my family is such a blessing. This year, my family has experienced some, some real challenges. And certainly things aren't perfect yet. Um, but all, all is good. And, and, I and I'm so thankful for that. And I'm fortunate enough to live with some of my best friends and be able to spend time with, with good people um, every single day. Um, and so I just, I feel so very blessed and I'm very, very grateful. Start off with that. Can we do that? Um, I am grateful for the sacraments, um, to just be able to receive God's grace, um, in different ways, um, just a free gift from Him. Um, I'm thankful for good community and, like, having that easily available to me, and I'm thankful for Google Podcasts, which I discovered this year, <laughs> and, um, my gifted Magnificat subscription, which has been very nice. This Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for God for helping me get a, a good job. Uh, this Thanksgiving, I am grateful for all the support that my friends and family have been giving me. Uh, I'm thankful this Thanksgiving for, for all the friends and families. I mean, with all the ups and downs going on lately, it's just nice to have a support system. And just really, I'm thankful for everything that the Lord has provided for me. One more part. I'm also thankful for my fiance. What? what? <laughs> no 